Okay. Oh! Already got that stash. Alright. Makes a lot of sense now that we didn't have that artifact before. There are no bugs, only anomalies. Not wrong. Oh, you want to say hi to the stream too, Fen Fen? Fen Fen says, hello! I am the Fen Fen. Hello. How are you? My name is Fenrir. It is good to see you. I am a French bulldog. Hi. <laughs> oh, Fen. Yeah. You having fun? Look at that blip. Look at the size of that blip. Oh my lord, dude. Insane. Insane. Mwah. No. Think about it. Boop, boop, little fan fan. Great to see a Frenchie that isn't choking. Uh, funny enough, when we got Fenrir, he actually, the reason we got him was because a breeder brought him in to get put down because he had a giant cleft. For those that don't know what a cleft is, it's a giant hole in the roof of your mouth. And uh, the breeder actually brought him and his two siblings in uh, all to be euthanized at four weeks old. And the reason being is because the breeder was like, there's no way the quality of life of these animals is going to be decent. Uh, because the cleft palate is is too much. Like, there's there's no chance that, that these dogs are going to have a good life. So, the veterinarian who was supposed to euthanize them, uh, a vet tech there actually said, there's no way we're euthanizing these puppies. Because, you know, there's cleft surgery and stuff. And the breeder was like, no one's going to want to pay for cleft surgery for, you know, the, the clefts are too bad. The risk is too high because um, his his cleft was terrible. Like, like it was it was over an inch long and um, almost a third of an inch wide. Like it was it was it was terrible. Um, but we were like, you know what? You, you know, we are we are one of the very fortunate families. that's in a good position. We have had animals with health problems in the past. So we were like, let's do it. Let's grab them. Uh, so we we got Fen and we had him for uh, about a, a few months, couple, couple to a few months. And it became very clear very quickly that the cleft was, was too much to handle. Uh, the reason being is because he could not drink water. Like the way he would drink water is he would, he would put his head down, he would lap water, but then it would start pouring out of his nose. So what he would have to do is he would have to lick the water and then put his head back. And then lick the water and put his head back. And that's how he drunk, drank water. That's, that's the only way he could drink water, was by doing that. That's the only way he could do it. Um, so it was, it was pretty clear. And of course, he had all sorts of other issues. We had to clean out the cleft all the time because food would get stuck in there. And when food gets stuck in there, it can, it can rot. And, and that's how they get infections. Just terrible. However, we took him to the local university that actually has a very good vet program. And we spent we spent some money to basically have the highest chance success cleft surgery that we could have on him. And at the time, they also did something called clip his nostrils, which means that uh, a lot of times, um, unfortunately, genetically, uh, French bulldogs, their, the, their nose will, will grow. So when they're about six months, it will close off their nose. And if you've ever heard of um, French bulldogs and pugs, <laughs> well, that's their whole life. That is because they can't breathe through their nose or they can only breathe a little bit. And and that's just all they do all the time because they, they can't do anything. So um, when we were getting his cleft palate surgery done, we also had a surgery done to, to widen his nostrils um, as well. And both surgeries took. They said there's a chance that neither of them would take. Both of them took for Fenrir. So not only is his cleft Basic, his cleft went from over an inch some and over Why a third of an clapping? inch to literally the size of like a ballpoint pen tip at the very, very front. Now he can drink normally. He can eat fine. He doesn't grunt all the time. He plays like crazy. Like his energy level increased afterwards because he was getting more oxygen and like felt more comfortable playing. So yeah, he we got like that little guy is a very lucky little little guy. Um, because he had two surgeries, both of which could have just failed. And um, both of them were successful. So, pretty freaking awesome. So, he uh, he definitely is a, a happy little guy. That's for sure. So, 
He's, he's a good little dude. Now, of course, unfortunately, what sucks is at any point, the, the cleft essentially can fail. Like if he bites a stick or something, or if a, if he, if he bites something sharp. So, you know, we're, we're fully, we're fully expecting to have to do more work down the road. That's just, that's just part of it. That's what you gotta you sign up for that. But what, you know, the fact that it took like this means that any future surgeries will knock on wood, hopefully be a lot easier to do. And um, yeah, and most importantly, his quality of life is, is through the roof. So that's all we care about at the end of the day. That's all we care about for all our animals is their quality of life. And, uh, and he's doing okay. So that's Fenrir's little story. <laughs> this way? This way. What about the other two puppies? Uh, I have one other puppy right now, and that's Sophie. And uh, Sophie we rescued from a no-kill shelter about three months ago, two or three months ago. And she's been great. We basically got her to be a playmate for Fenrir. And, uh, and that's exactly what she does all day. Yep. <laughs> yep. So we're very happy with, we're very happy with little Sophie. Yeah. Hmm. By the way, I just want to give a shout out to every single person who has been watching this playthrough. I somehow didn't get spoiled that Monolith was coming back. Thank you. Like, oh my God, I, I have no idea how that, nid, that, that didn't get spoiled to me. But I was thinking about it on lunch. I was like, I, I had no idea, no idea that was gonna happen. No, no idea. Like, that's awesome. That's great. So thanks. Uh, you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Didn't we try to get this one before? I don't think we can get this one. Maybe we can now, but. Hmm. Oh, let me spoil it for you. Monolith is coming back. Thanks. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Yeah, this is the one where it's like under this. And we never figured out how to get it. It's like inside here. I don't, did we ever find a way to get this one? I don't think we did. Maybe it's in through here. Maybe it's part of the main mission. Uh, let's go do this mission in the, in the area. Walk up the tubes. We tried. We followed the pipes down and tried to do stuff there, but there was nothing. This is clearly, uh, there's clearly buildings under here. These are exhaust tubes. So there's clearly something under there. I, I just don't think we've ever been to it. But we're gonna go do this stuff first. Because I wanna see what all this jazz is gonna be. I'm assuming, well, actually the noon tiders left the base, didn't they? I was gonna say, I'm assuming we're gonna have to deal with a lot of noon tiders, but. Bro, it is quiet down here. Oh my Lord. Um, oh, Lancelis. Well, thank you. So I appreciate the nice message, man. And best to you, best to you. Chris said, we're looking to get a cat. My kids are super excited. Chris, me and my family. Oh, can I, by the way, say how awesome that the red beard is clipping through that helmet? I love that. I, now, now I want to see a space marine that has a space marine helmet on, but a giant ass beard coming out from under it. I wonder if any space marines look like that. I want to see that. Um, Chris, we are actually looking. We, we as, as many of you know, and, and Chris, I don't know if you know this. I, I, know, I haven't seen you for a bit, but we lost uh, Gary, Letho, and Siri. Oh, no, no, excuse me. Gary, Letho, and Dimitri. Um, all in the last two and a half years. So, um, needless to say, two of the, two of those were completely unexpected, but, um, we, we are as when I get back from my trip, uh, on the, where I'm leaving December 8th and coming back December 9th, um, going out with the kids. When we get back from our trip, we are going to begin the process of looking for two new kittens. Yep. So this little girl back here is going to get some, some playmates but it begins. Yep. Mm -mm. Dude, dude, Tank Time says, I'm nervous. I have three cats that are all 14. Tank Time, I'll tell you this. As, from somebody who has left a five-year-old, lost a five-year-old cat, an eight-year-old cat, and a 19-year-old cat in the last couple of years, it is a completely different type of thing when you lose an animal that has lived a full life. And I will say right now, at, with, if all three of your cats are 14 years old, you're doing a great job. 
So that's once once you get to a certain age, you you stop grieving the time you don't have, and you just appreciate the time that you did. So like, yeah, I I know I know it's a lot, and I would certainly never say it isn't, but you know just. At, f at all, all at 14, like older animals, you know, you're going to outlive your pets. So it's, uh, and some, I mean, to be, to be blunt also at 14 years old, you may still have like six plus years with all of them. Like cats can live a long time, but you know, it's, it's important to mention and keep in mind that 14 is a great age, dude. My, my, if you guys remember Torque, I think Torque was 14 or 15 when he passed. Yeah. I mean, he, he had a long and great life. Mm -hmm. So. Speaking of having a shorter life than expected. Um... Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. Hmm. I need to turn on all the lights in here. All of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa. Wait, I can use this still? Okay. Sounds good. Um, let's see, we'll do you guys for now, let's see what else can I put in here, and we actually don't have too much to put in here right now, mm -hmm. there we go, a few odds and ends, mm -hmm. Okay, so this area here is like the base proper. Oh, it's so weird to see it like this. Wow, dude. Yeah, this, this area is like where the entire... This was full of people. Full of people. Huh. They're all just gone. I wonder if any of them left anything interesting. That was a special moment. I want to hold on to it. The guys and I were chatting by the fire when silence suddenly fell upon us and we all just watched the flame dance. And yet it felt like our conversation carried on and we understood each other without saying a word. There was a strange familiarity to it, a sense of unity. The brothers say they experienced the same feeling during the gatherings with Faust. Maybe I should join them. Wow, that's a beautiful picture he drew. You see that over there? Damn. Hmm. Why is it so quiet? Because we're in the bottom of an abandoned base. Like, this used to be full of people in life, and now it's the opposite. All the people that were in this base basically got up and left to join Monolith. So why is it so dead and silent? Because this area is dead. There's no enemies. It's a mutant. We've killed, like, one mutant the whole time. Oh, of course. The valves are all set. What about those fuses? I just need to replace them, and we'll be good to go. Quiet. Still waiting on those. Should be here tomorrow. How's my gun, by the way? Almost done. I gotta finish one for Skiff first. Hey, we had a deal. I'll stash everything in the usual place. Swing by when you're done with my stuff. Just leave the gun and take the fuses fair and square. <clears throat> Nanny. I'm sorry, a gun? Uh, what? Where? Did I already get it? Uh-oh. What was that? What the hell was that? Uh, Nuri, uh, who are you talking about? Oh. All right, hold up. No, we're not done exploring through here. Poke around here a little more. There's hope now, brothers. The power is coming to this and be this man for this. Cores? Try to know what he's doing. If we are, I know we can. Everything will turn just to what he wants. I know it. And I have faith in him. You should have faith too. We'll be back soon. Everything's gonna be alright. Where in the hell is that? Is that a recording? Is that playing over a loudspeaker? Where did that come from? There's hope now, brothers. The monolith is coming to disappear. This time, for this. Try to know what you guys are doing. Okay, we're going. Did I check the armory? Um, which one's the armory? I think it was this one, right? Oh, 
random suit. What are you? Corundum suit. That sounds fun. Oh, I, oh, it's broken. <laughs> Rude. Unload, though. What's that suit? We'll look in a second. How do you have so many coupons? Just watch how I play. You'll figure it out quick. All right, what the hell is this thing? A normal person won't be able to wear this monstrosity for more than two hours? What does that mean? Hmm. Okay. Are we normal? I'm assuming not. Oh, it's really heavy. It's 10 kg. I didn't see that. Damn. That's brutal. Uh... Girl, where are you taking me? What is what is this? Why, why, why am I over here? Dude, there has to be a reason this stuff is here. What 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 is what is happening? Uh oh. Oh, is that is this the right way? Oh, this is the right way. Oh. Okay, hold up. Well, that explains it. We'll have to check that other side later, maybe. Good. Okay. Who opened this door? Oh, it connects back around. Okay, okay. Huh. Dude, this place is horrifying. I don't, I don't like this place. It's just too quiet. Hey, Warps, what's up, buddy? Okay, let's go. This is where we came to help Strider the first time. Is there any reason for us to go through here again? I, I don't think so. Hmm. I did get that snossage. I, I do like a good snossage. I wonder if we can get through to the other side through here. Jesus, you will play this game forever? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good game. Poke, poke. Get that beer. Food and snossages. Okay. This is where we found. Yeah, I was gonna say this is where we found the emitter last time. 
Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so unfortunately, I don't think there's a way out of here. So I think we need to go out and go around. Which is unfortunate. That's okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that's way too much rats. That's way too much rats. There we go. Great. Is that on my E? Yeah, good. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know what's funny? I died to that exact area when I was here the first time. I forgot that it was super irradiated. Did you see that they fixed the gun melee range? I see that they increased the range of melee, but it doesn't feel like they did it enough. Yep. That's what I'll say. I wish they'd do it more. I'm just gonna go. The hell was that sound? I did. I just hate this area. <laughs> um, okay. Did, did we just miss something at Slag Heap? I don't have a quest there or anything. No, we didn't. Okay. Oh, God. Huh. Go miss the main mission? Yeah, from the sounds of it. Oh, I should probably drop that. Well, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Well, you know what? No, let's do this area, and then we'll go back. We'll drop off at the storage here before we leave. We'll do that. I want to see if there's anything left in here. This is like a whole-ass science base. Let's see if there's anything in here still. You went all the way back there, and it was a waste of time? Oh, really? You went and checked after that message, and it was a waste of time? That's good to know. I, I appreciate you doing that. Thanks for taking one for the team. Very nice of you. Is this a whole ass science base? It is. A whole ass science base. Hmm. Man, the least they could have done is put a mutant in here. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Not even a single mutant to shoot in the face. Ew. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Where's my, there it is. Okay. Uh, let's check here for the uh, artifact and then we'll head north. You'll love to see it. Is the zombie still there near the antenna? I have no idea. That's a good question. I have no idea. Bro, I popped it. Come on now. Bro, 
I'm popping it. You can't do that. Oh my god, that that was so bad. All that for a jellyfish. We didn't we just lost more durability on our armor than we gained from getting that artifact. Oh well. Eh, we're okay. Could be worse, could be worse. 